Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. You just thought you'd pop in? Don't take this the wrong way but you probably ought to just turn around and not come back. Things, well, they haven't gone very well since you and your dad left. This isn't the happy vault you grew up in anymore. There's real trouble. It wouldn't have if your father hadn't ruined everything by opening that door. Things were just fine until he decided to take a little walk then we had bug attacks, confusion, and chaos. And with no doctor, too. To tell the truth, I don't really blame him for all that. I don't know why he left, but I do know he'd never intend for all that to happen. But when the smoke cleared, other people started thinking about opening the vault permanently. And that didn't go down well with the overseer. He's been coming down hard on them, and that's where it stands now. At least, until you walked in here. I can't do that. Not officially, at least. As much as some of the rebels would like to talk with you, the Overseer said you weren't welcome back. Of course, if you survived whatever's out there, none of us could stop you if you really wanted to cause problems. But I'd prefer if you don't. But out of respect to your dad, I could turn a blind eye. You could slip out and say you were never here. I won't tell a soul. Well, okay. Just be careful down here. The vault's changed, I tell you. Enough to stay away? The so-called Brotherhood of Steel. No I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. Yes, you do. Some antiquated technology. Criminals who have had the audacity to claim this country's most military as their own personal clubhouse. And don't be fooled, America. Those who have left the brother will live again. Oh my God, you're now, back! Here you got my message and actually came back. Oh, I missed your sense of humor, but I really don't think this is the time for jokes. We're in real trouble. And your help could make all the difference. So could you please take this seriously? For me? What the hell do you mean? Take a look around. If we weren't dying down here before that night, we're definitely on our way now. How much worse could it be if we tried to leave? There has to be something out there worth finding. And all this time, we're living in a tiny world that's been falling apart for 200 years. If we don't take a chance out there, we're just going to die down here. But none of that can happen while my father's got the place locked down. Please, something has to be done. You know that better than anyone. Hello, my beautiful America. This is President Eaton, and it's time we have to I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You will? Thank goodness for that. 
no matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him, all right? I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know, maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks, and good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. Why won't you just leave us alone? Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for Daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. I expected nothing more from you. I never thought you'd be... I just heard. The overseer, my... my father is dead. What's more, some of the people are saying I should be the new overseer. It's just all so sudden. I'm sure you did everything you could to find another way. I know how stubborn he is. How, how stubborn he was. But you're right. I don't have time to grieve just because I lost my father. The vault needs a leader now. That makes the rest of this even harder. I am your newest elected. You've saved us. But that doesn't change the fact that you killed one of us to do it. And I can't let that sort of thing stand here. I guess it's a bit familiar. You've already been forced out of the vault once before. At least now you know what's out there. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. Be back. I never thought you'd be back. Sorry to see you go. I have said, my America, reflect and wait. Soon, this great nation will be unclaimed. Do we do it? Here we go. I thought I heard something. John Harry Eden signing off. Yeah! Yeah! Where's security when you... Negro! <laughs>